Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Eager, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you Zer's location as well as some of his god rolls. So make sure to stick around for the full video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys. Don't forget to leave a like as we're on the road to pitch for 6,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's go ahead and get started guys. So kicking it off, Zer is going to be located at the Winding Cove. If you guys do not know where this location is, it's going to be on the EDZ and then it's going to be in your bottom left corner at the Winding Cove. So once you guys are here, you'll go ahead and be in a spot just like me. Then we'll go ahead and make our way over to Zer. Hopefully he's got some good stuff for us this week. Let's go ahead and see what he's got. Oh, please have a decent gun. Looks like also this week we're going to be kicking it with the glaive being the trials loot, unfortunately. I do not know how happy I am about that, especially with the nerf with glaives too on Hunters. Uh, so I don't know if trials is really going to be worth it this week. But let's go ahead and see what Daddy Zer has for us today. So looks like we got Arbalus. Okay. Not, not a terrible gun. Definitely not as good as it used to be back in the day. We have the Bombardiers with a 64 stat roll, pushing mobility, resilience, and strength. 20 on strength, 64 total. Not too bad. We got the Helm of Satan 14 with a 64 stat roll with 20 on intellect, 10 and 11 with another 11 on mobility, resilience, and recovery. We have the Eye of Another World with a 69 stat roll. Holy cow, that's pretty good. With uh, mostly recovering discipline. Not... Not crazy. Uh, resilience is probably what I'd want a little bit more. Um, not too bad though, but a 69 stat roll is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see what our purple armor is. 68 on the gauntlets, pushing resilience. We got a 66 on the chest armor with mobility and strength. Obviously nothing for the cloak. 63, this, this helmet's doo-doo. Uh, 65 with mobility pushing on 15, recovering resilience, or recovering discipline, I should say. Eh. Not, not nothing crazy. We got a true prophecy here. Gray robber, demolitionist. Mm, I don't know about that one. We got disparity with plugless and swashbuckler. No good perks right there. Could have used a better magazine and a better barrel. We got the no reprieve shotgun stacks for all wellspring. This one's pretty bad. Not gonna lie. We have the far future with moving target. Multi-kill clip, accurate rounds, extended barrel, and we can run fluted barrel to increase that stability and handling with the stability masterwork. Eh, probably would have wanted like snapshot or maybe quick draw instead of multi-kill clip. So, eh. We got the Soul Survivor with Volt Shot and Lead from Gold with Ricochet rounds and extended barrel. Maybe a PVE roll right there if you guys don't have a decent sniper, but that's gonna be pretty hard to not have a decent sniper to choose this one in my opinion. We have a memory grenade launcher with threat detector demolitionist. Mm, no spike grenades, no proximity grenades. That's, that's pretty bad. We got friendly planted and quick draw on this linear fusion with charge time and a projection fuse. Not a bad roll on the Corsair's Wrath. This isn't too bad. If you guys don't have a decent linear fusion or a crafted linear fusion, I mean, I guess you guys can run that one. Let's bet all our pennies and let's look at what the Hawk Moon roll is going to be for this week. Ooh, opening shot. Okay. 91 handling, 73 stability. What do we got here? Smooth grip, opening shot. Alloy magazine. Uh, alloy magazine's kind of, kind of not the best. Uh, only perks when obviously the magazine is empty, but we do have fluted barrel. So fluted barrel with opening shot and smooth grip. Could have just had a better magazine and we would have had the perfect roll. But with 96 recoil direction, a whopping 93 aim assist, 91 handling, 73 stability, and a pretty decent 52 range, honestly. Uh, to obviously kick an opening shot to make this improve accuracy and range on the opening shot of attacks. This one's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would definitely pick up this Hawkwind if you guys do not have one. But I think that's going to wrap everything up for Zer for this week. He's got some okay rolls, nothing too crazy. Uh, 69 stat roll on the Eye of Another World. The Hawk Moon is obviously pretty good if you guys don't have one. And these are all just kind of mid and okay in general. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace.